Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Kong Rong with the Make Them Unique mod enabled. So, um, in the last episode, we got Yan Liang, our turncoat, to betray his master, um, which has disbanded his army. We've beaten his other army, and that just leaves Taiyan Toolmaker completely unattached. So I am heading my armies in that general direction as fast as I possibly can go. Um, I don't like the fact that Tata has so much land up here. Uh, I'm not particularly keen that Gongsunzan has Herdong and Hernay here either. There's not a huge amount I can do about it right now. What I am tempted to do is do quite an aggressive campaign of buying territory um, over time, like we did uh, to... to Sort out some territory here. Uh, where was it? Uh, I can't remember now. Uh, but we bought one piece of territory for a huge amount of money. But it was worth it um, to complete commanderies. And I think we're going to apply the same type of pressure on people who don't have a huge amount of food, like Gongsun Zan. Um, though Gongsun Zan is incredibly aggressive. So I do need to watch how we do it with him. Um, but essentially we can sort of force him into a sort of semi-vassal ship by continually feeding him food um, and buying his territory. I would quite like to apply some sort of similar pressure to Tao Tao. Um, for example, to purchase Shandang farmland or Hernay farmland off him. It's going to be absolutely extortionate to do so, but just to keep buying up as much of his farmland as I can possibly get up here because I have uh, territory here that he needs to be adjacent um, then that can push him south and sort of limit his power a little bit but I, d I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because it could be quite could be quite pricey. Uh, Zhang Yan is someone who we're quite friendly with um, I don't know if there's going to be an option to vassalize him in the future uh he i don't think has any food whatsoever coming in um yeah it's just me paying him so uh should be he should be a good target actually gongsun do is a nice option for a vassal if we can that work nice interesting and wang lang uh create vassal He's not a bad option too, being that far south. We've got good deals with him, so that's building up. Military access, non-aggression pact. I should Jong. No, I don't want to do an aggression pact with uh, Yuan Shu. Okay, so let's move on. Unfortunately, I don't want to buy too much territory off Liu Bei because he's a decent buffer for me. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, because Liu Bei's at war with Hong Sun Du. That could work really well in my favour. Okay, strong economy. Thank you. Right. Spy Promotion General Peng Ji. Sweet. He's Grand Excellency as well. Oh, that's nice. Patrician. Yeah, Yan Liang is suffering because he has no supplies. Well... Yan Liang can shift his ass fast as to, yeah. We are also crapping out on supplies here. That's disappointing. Can we get back into our territory? We can. That's going to leave you to advance on your own. Sorry, buddy. Your supplies aren't wonderful either. Bollocks. Well. Well. There isn't a huge amount I can do about that. This isn't our territory. It's Tarsals. We don't replenish. 10 food production, 75% food production. We want increased food production because we're going to use that as our primary source of buying out the world. Like, for example, right? He has Dong. That would be an area we could target because that would give me access to Tartar. That wouldn't be a bad shout, but I'd leave him Donghai and Pongchong. He 
has quite a lot of food though because of that farmland if we could yeah yeah I don't know I don't know just don't know um, okay we can vassalize him that's gonna make Liu Bei angry it's gonna cost us a fair bit of cash we guarantee him autonomy which I'm okay doing we have trade with him already that's going to prevent Liu Bei expanding up there which is quite nice and it's going to give me an ally in case Gong Sun Zan goes nuts we're friendly anyway so it should build up over time let's do this shit right okay and that's forced peace We've kept his territory intact, which is quite nice. Gives him a level of protection. It gives us access to the trade ports and everything else up there. Um, should we uh, need it? We've got a good... Yeah, I like that. That's a lot of money, but I like that a lot. Okay, next time. I wonder how angry Liu Bei is with me now. <laughs> Buildings done, attrition, Kongrong and Yanliang. Character moments, Shang Shang Gao, Bing Wu, Fu, Dolin, no. Matched Jian. Okay. Okay, well. Get your ass together. You as well. Um, you can form up there. <sighs> Advance forward. Um, do you know what? Faster advance. <clears throat> okay, so we can get there a little bit faster. These guys can fight. In this army, we have Peng Ji, which is good. Uh, shoot ha. Uh, he's leading an army. Um, hmm. We'll see with him. Uh, Peng Ji, however. Can't do a military revolt because he's not in command. Uh, what we. Mm. Yeah, we, we don't need to do anything this turn. We could potentially do something next turn. If he wants to attack my troops, he can attack my troops with those guys. I'm okay with that. But you want she in that army? Right, you guys sit there. Get your... That doesn't help with supply. Yeah, plus 10 military supplies. Um, you're alright though. Okay. We are going to need some of this stuff. Military supplies for our campaigns. Have I been putting it off too long? That's a serious question now. More income from commerce is always bloody useful. We've got food right now. I think we've got to start heading down here just a bit so my armies are less useless. Okay. Nothing else that needs building. Army's still on the move. Um... Longlong's fine. And now, Duchy of Zhong still wants that. Uh, Office of Protections, no. Uh, right. Faction groupings, how are you? You have a lack of food. And you're actually really happy with me as well. So, could we? 
How much? 19. Offer food. If I offer you that much. And... Some of these weapons here. That's quite a lot. You have money. Uh... How much to make this work? That's good enough. I'll take that. I will take that. Nice little bit of expansion there. This will give me some industry income, which I could do with. I don't know if it's going to pay for itself. We'll see. Quite fun playing as Kong Rong and doing this in a sort of non-military way. Even though I have, you know, militarily taken the vast amount of this territory. That's our sound of peace, Richie. Good. Oh, you bastard. Ah, uh, I wanted Wang Lang. Um, assignments. So... Lee Ru is a little bit pissed. I can sort of understand that. Uh, we don't want Dong. We want, we want... Start off in Beihai. So Beihai already has that running. Li Ru, you can go in there and do this. And... Do you know what? Go in there and do that as well. And then we'll go to... Where's the next best? Income. And ping is industry and peasantry. Commerce. Beihai. Darn. Or high. Taishan. Here. Yeah. Taishan. Head off to Taishan and do that. Right. Now, Li Ru, you're desirous of a higher court position, so is Zhang Song. I do actually have some money. So I could. Give you one of these. Uh, you're not really general material, but master of writing. There you go. That'll help you out a bit. Your mm. <laughs> definitely not a Lord of Thunder type. We'll 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 hold with you for a second. Got a little bit more money coming in now. Um. Supplies are still taking a fair amount of time. Uh, right. So, let's go straight there. Dig in. Extract. Decisive victory. Quick save. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Okay. Let's have a look at this. We've got Jayan coming in. We're going to make him do most of the fighting, I think. What we could do, though, is set up over here so we can at least support him. Uh. Yeah. It's not ideal for the treb, but you know, it will work, I hope. Um, knock a hole in that. Flaming shot. Oh, not flaming shot, fire arrows. Just get it ready. They've all positioned there. We'll let Jiang Yan actually rush in because, you know. Better his troops die than mine. Um, they will give him as much covering fire as we can possibly manage. Oh. 
Yeah, we really need the catapult to take these two down, if possible. Well, Jayan is coming. Who's he got with him? Run quite. Liu Yi. And he has a lot of bandits, and he's going right up with some bandit marauders. That's a good hit. Come on, let's have another one. Good. Right, let's have that one down, please. Move you guys up. Line up. Yeah, please. It looks like Jayan's taking his cavalry around this flank. She is more than welcome to do. You think that's going to work for him? Um, not convinced myself. I think he'll be bloody. But I understand why he doesn't want to charge his cavalry at the Warriors of Year. Um, can we blast that to smithereens now okay so we can set up here don't we don't want fire arrows if you guys behind not in uh, loose formation because we're going to see if we can attract their archers forward and then annihilate them Uh, one hit. One hit, that's not too bad. And yeah, what cav has he got? He's got bandit raiders. They're all bandit cav. Alright, if he throws himself at that with that amount of cavalry, he should break through because they don't have um, uh, spears in that formation there. I mean, he really wants to be moving these guys over to this because if he just put them in a line, they'd hold. Um, I mean, not very long with that many officers, but they'd hold. They might kill some horses and the like. But this, that's that's a battering. Now, that's an absolute battering. What are we doing? It's almost down. That one's not been hit at all. Come on. No, no, we missed completely. Well, hopefully we'll be able to take it down. Who knows, though? Who knows? Um, guess you guys can move up. Axes and sabers. You guys ready behind. Let's have you two coming up here. Right. Axes through the gap. Sabres behind. You guys straight through. And I think go. Slightly uh, suicidal charge if this goes wrong. <clears throat> but we'll see. You guys form here. You guys don't think you need loose formation anymore. Come here. Charge. Charge. Any of these fools want a duel? She does. Oh no. Oh, she's got a um, thing. Tenacity of steel. That always worries me. <clears throat> Whenever I see that. Right, all the arrows in the world are coming in. My horsemen are coming in. My horsemen have got an absolute pounding from some arrows there. Come on, right into them. Good on ya. Right, they've been wrecked. Reform over here, please. 
Where are my axes? So I want axes over here, and I want sabers over here, please. Right. Cav blob. Go. Hello? I swear I said the gen infantry captain. Right. Um, both of you, over here. Jatsong, up you come. One, two, three, four, five. Up here. Nicely done. Excellent. Well done, cavalry. Back out. Advance forward. Uh, go on. Just get, get in there. Go axes down that way. Don't think we need the extra axes over there, given the weight of numbers they're throwing in that direction. You can come in here. Let's pop one of these and pop that. That should help things. Cav. One, two, three, four. Reform, please. Reform. Axes. I need you in there. Uh, chase her. Charge jeweler. Get her gone. Get her gone. Jap Song, rock up here. Fast as you can. Mm. And drop this. Right. Over here, guys. Right over here. Vanguards have such pathetic morale. Like, that's a fight they're absolutely caning in. And he's shitting himself. But you rock up here, you get thick into that fight. Cavalry's gonna ride straight through that fight, hopefully. Big group of Cav down there that we should be able to deal with. Well, Jun, back on your horse, please, buddy. You rock here. Yep, your horse. Good. Alright, let's get you on a sheet. Uh, he's rank four. Shinyo, you can shift over there as well. Um, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Out you come, out you come, out you come. We've got a cavalry battle to win. Okay. One. Two. Three. Over here, please. Number four. Okay. You got that? Have you got any of your things? You have. Let's pop that. And let's pop that. My militia is taking a beating in that fight. Um, we put the axes there to hold. All my arrows coming in, which is quite nice. Well, focus on him. Take guard mode off. Focus, focus, focus. Still some seconds left. Nice. Well done, guys. Cavalry's done its bit there. Right, you can reform here. We're going to get some rear charges in. You guys, forget that for a second. Just pound these guys into oblivion. Right, now go, now go, now go. Let's go. Forward, forward, forward. Rear charge, please. And it's just these units over here that are holding right at this moment in time. But they're outside the city. So not so fast here. It's unbreakable. That's a surprise. Come on. In we go, in we go, in we go. Nicely done. Let's see if we can get a route going on. Break them. Um, infantry. Let's move around this flank. Right. That's taken. I think we go forward. Help our axes out. Our axes have run in some calves, so let's kill. And then we'll swing back and we'll take the central ground. 
That is if they hold long enough. You boys. Go straight for it now. In we come. In we go. In we go. Pop that. Just we got a little bit of extra protection. And then it's just a matter of time. Speed it up until he goes down. He's down. Victory. Nice win. Thank you, Zhang Yan. That is the Yuan clan done. Well, no, there's Yuan Shu, but, uh, you know, the irritating Yuan is down, not the idiot Yuan. That's not bad. Yuan Shi. Composed, committed, perceptor. Do you know what? I absolutely will. Peace for the people. Fantastic. Our Shang is destroyed. Character Vermance. Guotu has come as well. Uh, he's Yuan Tan's um, strashes. Xinyo's gone up. We've got a guard. Oh, it's all looking good. Uh, right. Xinyo. We would like Unyielding Earth. Um... Yeah, yeah, you have a military instructor. Which one's better? Military instructor is better. She has leading an army. Tong Ji, you are not happy. Compassive, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's, he's furious and he's quite not good as well. Um... Hmm. do you've served your purpose. Thank you. You have served your purpose well. Bye bye. Now we've got space for another spy. Gongsun Du is not that useful an option. Nobody else. I want to wait until we get a turncoat, so I'll check it every now and again, periodically, just to see if we get a turncoat. We now have Taishan, um, which is quite nice. How are you doing? You're less happy about that. Uh, sorry, Taiyuan, not Taishan. Um, not surprised, really. Not surprised at all. Okay. I think we can be pretty pleased with how that turned out. What have we got on the old uh, construction front? Just wants to become a city. Well, I'm trading all my food away right now, so I can't do that. No, we good. Big deal, create vassal. We got no one. Chief Jong still, non-aggression pact. Chief Jong still, they can piss right off. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Wang Lang. Vassal sport. No, okay, you're quite happy to be a vassal. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, the war has been won. Now, it's a case of uh, trying to do as much of a land grab as possible, as peacefully as possible. We can pick up Shandang, actually, that entire commandery. That would be wonderful. Uh, Shu has died. Oh, interesting. Impactful arguments. This general has a true heart and the gift to convey it through clear and inspiring words. Even the hardest and bitten soul cannot help being moved by their charisma and gravitas. Recently, they gave hope to one whose faith was wavering, fully restoring that individual's beliefs and our faction ideals. Now that is a turncoat, Pangji. That's what a turncoat should be like. Uh, character Vermont, Guangping, Jian, Xiongwei, Dan, Bian, Ren, Tao Shang, Tao Qian's, Diao Chan, eh? Tuo Ba Li Wei, Diao Chan, Diao Chan.
well. I don't particularly need her. But I guess, I don't know why she's funny like that. Han Empire, she's been with the Han Empire the whole time. She's definitely not. Hmm. But we'd have to give her a... Sorry, let's recruit her. Let's recruit Diao Chan, because I've never had her before. So she's not overly happy, which is sort of understandable. She doesn't need a guard, she doesn't need any of that stuff. She has a unique armor. Uh, not diplomacy. Court. Family tree. Diao Chan, are you married to anyone? You're not. You're not at all. Well, I think I think we should give a marriage for you guys. There we go. Fantastic. Happy days. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will leave it there on that lovely note. And uh, yeah, quite oh, nice. We've got Dio Chan, we've got Yan Liang. Xin Yo, our, our general in chief, pretty much, is doing all the heavy lifting with Lord Jun and uh, Jia Tong. So uh, those guys are having a lot of fun. Yan Liang, um, I'm going to keep him out in the field just because it's going to keep him happier. Uh, I know it's costing me money. Uh, I will give him an army eventually if we need an army. Um, I keep him stationed up here. I'm going to move Kong Rong back to our uh, home territories from uh, this point onwards. Um, I don't think we need to worry about invasion uh, exactly, so he can shift over there whilst uh, Yan Liang can uh, I think just stay in the farmland, enjoy himself, have a little bit of a break, um, low supplies but they'll build up over time and yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, I really hope you've enjoyed this, if you have please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and uh, Comments, anything below, let me know who to target next for aggressive buyout of territory. But yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.